All right, what is up guys? I am off to dinner with the crew. We've been waiting a long time to do this kind of uh, special dinner. They do like a set meal at this place that's only open for daytime stuff. We're getting a uh, kind of private chef tasting thing. I am so excited because this place is so good for daytime food, so I'm just really, really wondering what nighttime food will be like. And this is probably gonna be, I think, my last meal. It's almost like the last supper, if you think about it, because I've just started something crazy. I'm working with a personal trainer and biohacker here in Bali, Indonesia, who's put me on a very strict diet. A lot more about that later, but now let's just run to dinner for what will probably be, you know, the end, pretty much. This is it, RIP, food. Wait, are we the only people? Is this just us? Private, private dinner action here. This food is all really tasty and really pretty. This was not the day to bring the Osmo action and just like phone in the filming. I feel so bad I didn't bring like a proper vlog camera to this dinner. Good for you. Is oh, there wow. was for me? So it was amazing. It was yeah. amazing. I, just, I actually can't breathe now. I'm so full, but I can't. <laughs> I can't either. Oh Highly my God. recommended. <laughs> wow. This is a very fitting final supper, and now to never eat rice or bread ever again. The following day. Okay. So latest update from here in Bali. I've been looking around this whole time for a personal trainer, and. I posted onto one of the Facebook groups here. Several people replied to me, but one that really stuck out was this guy named Matt. So literally wake up and eat broccoli. Like, well not wake up, but break fast. That should be the break first. Break fast okay. with, broccoli, uh, okay. with broccoli, olive oil, and sea salt. Okay, we can do that, yeah. that's fine. Matt is not necessarily your average personal trainer. He actually refers to himself more as a biohacker. Being a techie, kind of nerdy, gadgety kind of guy, I was like, oh, a biohacker, what's that? Didn't know what I was signing up for, but it's definitely been interesting. <laughs> so it looks like Matt will be combining a combination of meditation, breath work, intermittent fasting, the keto diet, hit training, and even more, actually, to kind of help me achieve some big fitness goals. I didn't really know that I would be doing all that, but here we are. Over the next 30 days or so, I'll document this entire journey and take you guys along with me as we get super fit, <laughs> super healthy, uh, attain a lot more clarity. Apparently we'll be losing a lot of weight and feeling so much healthier, so I'm excited. So far for me, the craziest part has been this keto diet. Basically makes it so that your body burns fat uh, like crazy as fuel. And oh my God. <laughs> This is, this is crazy. Being in a country like Indonesia that is like rice with every single meal and not being able to eat it is crazy. <laughs> the second most challenging thing has been this intermittent fasting, especially because I have wild hours here in Bali. I'm working all different time zones for my various companies and various learning endeavors. So not being able to eat certain times has been very, very tricky. Several days later. I'm not feeling super great the last few days, so I haven't been vlogging much. I think it is just jumping into ketosis, but I'm starting to feel good. Definitely noticing a scale difference. I keep forgetting to take pictures of this whole journey. Should probably take like a before and after. I'll work on that. Given that my schedule changes like every five minutes, um, I'm more having trouble with the intermittent fasting than the keto side of things. I definitely miss like rice and carbs, and it's really hard to be doing something like that here in Indonesia, but it's more the you can't eat for like 16 hours at a time that's getting me down. Later that same evening. Okay, I'm not sure what day it is. I think it's about day eight or nine of this new diet, but wow, I'm starting to feel mm, 
Not as extremely off, but I've lost a significant amount of weight in such a short period of time. One week later. What is up guys? Another day here in Bali, but this day's a little bit different because I'm actually leaving. So everything was going really, really well with the new diet and exercise routine until I took a trip, as you saw in my last two vlogs, to Uluwatu. Here, I accidentally ate lots of rice and other things and basically fell off the keto wagon for about four days. It was a really nice trip, but yeah, that really set me back quite a bit. Luckily, Matthew had a solution. Do an extended fast. First he told me, let's do 24 hours, and that didn't seem to be too hard. But then we pushed it to 48 hours, and that was also challenging, but not impossible. And finally, we ended up doing a 60 hour fast several days later. So we're gonna try and go for 60 hours instead of 48, believe it or not. So that's two and a half days of no eating. What is life? Mostly, I just didn't realize I was not gonna be eating for the next two and a half days, so it's been a little bit more of a scheduling conflict after getting over that first 24 hours. It was rough. It was rough, but now I feel okay. Okay is a solid word to describe it. There's all this crazy science about your body regenerating cells and finding the ones that are damaged or weak or not ideal and just like cleansing those out. So I guess right now I'm literally rebuilding a new me, which is cool. I've been told to grab lots and lots of salt. So I'm grabbing salt and I'm, I'm living on salt, man salt for three days. There's a little area I wanted to explore for a little while here in Bali. Just gonna take a quick cruise over there for sunset now. Made it down to this new beach area just in time for sunset. This is the only place, from what I understand, that the rice fields actually meet the ocean. So that's pretty cool. I'm like the only non-local person here but it's not that far away and easy to get to. So beautiful, beautiful, stunning sunset tonight. Several days later. Good morning. It is a monumental day because today I am gonna continue this journey of keto, fasting, and working out that I'm on. And I'm gonna try an even more advanced workout at F45 here in Chenggu. I've never tried it before. I hear it's pretty similar to the Orange Theory workouts I was doing in New York. I'm gonna go with my buddy Chase, and we're gonna try this out. Um, this was be in addition to the home workouts that I'm doing. So far, I'm kind of like at a plateau of 197 pounds, which is still a super significant weight loss. Today, I have lunch and dinner here. I've got all this already, and I'm gonna try, and I haven't tried this either, uh, eating at the end of the fast. So I haven't eaten anything today. I'm gonna go do a workout, and then by the time the workout is done, I'll have completed about a 20 hour fast. We'll try that and see how that works. Um, hopefully I'm like not completely regretting in this and dying at the end of it all. So here we are, F45, go check it out. I just rode here on my scooter. Hi! Hi! Timothy. How did you know? <laughs> <laughs> wow, this place is cool. <laughs> okay. Hi, my name is Leah. Leah? Yeah. This is crazy! <laughs> Okay, so we just crushed this class. We're warming up now. I got Jace here, my ambassador, personally walking me through. I don't know what has happened. It's intense, but good. I guess I'll be back. Oh my god. Come back? Yeah, I think I'll come back. Oh my god. That is the most activity I've had in six months. <laughs> okay, I've had a moment to catch my breath. Just at a cafe here, grabbing whew, a quick keto-friendly snack or meal, actually. It's a giant black iced coffee. Yes, black. There's no sugar, can't have sugar on keto. I don't think I'm gonna finish this, but the goal today is to accelerate things. So we're working out, drinking coffee, fasting, uh, and we'll see how this, this adds to the overall thing. I feel really, really good. I feel like mental clarity. I'm gonna have a little coffee and get to work.
much, much, much later. Do you ever wake up on a Monday after a weekend of going out and you're just like, oh, well, that is me, but made a lot of commitments to health. And so I'm actually going to go right now and work out with my biohacker and personal trainer, Matt. So I'm on my way over there now with what little energy and strength and hope I have left in my life. I'm going to go and get myself right and start this week out on a positive. Um, Matt is actually staying in a new villa that has a private CrossFit gym, which is really important and great. I think there have been some reports of positive cases at the gym here, so you know. So it's best to just like do it at your own fancy home gym if you have it. Finally back at it again. Took a second to find. Of course, of course Matthew would find the only place in Bali that has its own gym. This is his door. This is the gym. <laughs> <laughs> this and there's no excuses for us to get out there. Salt. All right, we're adding salt, sea salt, and water, and just just eat this. Throw it down. Throw, throw it down. Throw it down in your mouth. All right, here, here we go. go. One, two, three. Go. Good. Okay. Water. Drink the whole thing. Now, drink it one more. I've sudden, never done it like that before. <laughs> do you feel like it's like? Do you? I you, feel pretty. Psh, yeah. All right. Day one of of uh, the next level. Next level, day one. We're leveling up because it doesn't stop at losing all this weight. We gotta, we gotta make it. Now, now, okay. now, what we're looking to do is lean muscle mass. Uh, leverage his uh, keto intermittent fasting with uh, his muscle building and human growth hormone uh, which will then also raise his vibration and and have much more mental clarity and a lot more energy and um, and you leverage it all together and we keep going here for that thanks right. again yeah you got see it. you tomorrow all right yes good night guys going all right workout's intense today. Whew. We're getting through it. Getting through it. Getting more advanced. Hey guys. Here we are at day two of the escapades. Oh. <laughs> now we're gonna now we're gonna do a wind down, a cool down, and okay. a meditation. My favorite part. Okay. Let's do some heavy weights going up to the sun deck. Oh look at the sunset. Look at this. This is Bali. Can't believe you just live here. <laughs> 